Hi there, I'm going to show you how to make a wrapped loop for hanging beads. We're going to start by sliding the bead onto a head pin. We're going to add a daisy spacer, that's just for the cosmetics, for the look of it. And next we're going to bend the head pin. And you see we're going to leave a little bit of a gap, which is where we're going to wrap the wire down afterwards. So position the pliers and just make a 90 degree bend. You see that? And see there's a little bit of a gap there? Okay, and now reposition the pliers and we're going to bend the head pin around the hot pliers. And so where we position the tapered plier makes a difference as to how big that loop is. Just bend that away from you. And that's half of the loop right there. Now put the pliers, notice they're now on the other side. The pliers have moved so you can continue that wrap. And you can wrap it back. Now we have a closed loop. And if you're going to attach it to a chain or another loop or something that doesn't have a gap, you need to do it now, otherwise you won't get it on there. All right, so now we're going to, now that's, this is a little awkward, so here's a tip. Change the way you're holding that loop, and this works even with the round nose pliers. And now wrap the wire around. And having a long tail helps a lot. If you've got a really short tail, you're going to find it really hard. So that means you do cut stuff off and waste it and it's just that's fact of life. So there we've got a nice wrap and now we just need to cut that end off. So flush cutters for this. Cut off that wire nice and flush. I'm amazed I didn't cut the loop when I did that. Usually the wire goes flying. I got really lucky with that one. And now we're just going to tuck in that little end because you shouldn't feel that if you run your fingers over it. The micro tip pliers are good for that because they're small enough to get in there. Or another really helpful little tip is to use the curved outer loop in your crimp pliers because it's already got a nice curve and that'll just squeeze that in nice and round. There we go. And just as a bonus, we're just going to hang that on an earring. So in order to get that in that little loop there, we just need to open it. And when you're opening a loop like this, you always open it sideways. You don't pull it open. You just twist like that. Otherwise, you'll never get the shape back together again. And you just stretch the wire and weaken it. And we just hook that on there. And then just turning that over so the bead doesn't fall off and just close that back up and now the bead on the earring has slid down out of the way okay and there we go and just straighten that out a little bit and that's it that's a very elegant lampwork bead earring quick and easy and now all you need is another one so you have a match pair too bad I never make two beads that match